This video was brought to you by Manco.Trade. This site allows you to instantly trade off your unwanted TF2 items in exchange for other TF2 items. Any money that would be left over on your side gets added to your balance which you can use at any point in any other trades, it just gets stored on your account. They do giveaways every so often so the link to the site will be down below. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video and today what we're going to be doing is taking a look at all of the brand new Scream Fortress X hat effect and I'll be doing the taunt effect in a separate video. I just figured I'd get out my brand new taunt that uh, I'm super happy with in this video to kind of introduce it. So we're going to be taking a look at all of the new hat effects, there's 11 to go through and I haven't actually seen most of them yet so this is going to be kind of like my first reaction as well but I'm also going to be giving my guesses on the pricing and the tiers so if you're on box one and you're not sure whether it will be super expensive or more of a cheap one then uh, hopefully I can help you out a bit so uh, guys without further ado I'm gonna help straight into an item test server and take a look at the new unusual effects let's get into the game now so guys, this first effect is called Brain Drain, and as you can see, it's this like, it kind of reminds me of Antifreeze, which is one of the Robo effects, but coming out of it, there's bubbles, bones, like hands and feet, um, in like a skeleton form, and like, I really like the colour of it as well, I do think this is a really nice effect for sure, I feel like this would be like a mid-tier effect, honestly, because it is pretty noticeable, as I was saying, like, there's some effects in this kind of collection that aren't too noticeable, and this really isn't one of them, this one's definitely noticeable and I do really like how it looks in game. I think the colors are really cool. All the particles coming out are really nice. I like how they fall down and slowly disintegrate. This is just a really nice effect for sure. So guys, up next we have the open mind effect, and as you can see, it's the exact same thing, but in an orange colorway. So, I said this in a previous video, I do find it interesting how effects implemented into the game always follow a similar color scheme of like green and orange, like scorching and burning, or green and pink, or green and purple. But yeah, the exact same effect with the orange colorway, I do think I prefer it in that green, because it's a bit more noticeable, and I feel like um, the kind of like bubbles and stuff coming out do kind of make a bit more sense. It looks like a cauldron bubble, as opposed to just these like random bubbles but this almost looks like a volcano kind of like erupting all of these bubbles and limbs and stuff either way though I do think these are two really nice effects but I do feel like this one will be slightly cheaper than the previous effect and guys of course the third effect in this like trio of effects is head of steam and you can see it's the exact same effect the exact same particles the bubbles flying out the bones flying out but this is in like the purple color and I do think the purple color is really nice as I was saying though, my favourite colour in this set is that green and that hasn't changed now, I've seen that, um, three of the effects, but I think the purple will be more expensive than the orange, the orange will be the least expensive in, if I had to guess, um, and I feel like the green will be the most expensive, but that purple is a really nice shade for sure, it's like a bit more brighter than the purple effects we're used to. This is just really cool, man. I'm really happy to see these three effects in the game. I'm not sure if there's a fourth, um, we're gonna go into the fourth effect now and take a look. So guys, this next effect is Galactic Gateway, and I must say, I'm pretty sure there's there's a few colorways in this effect. This is absolutely insane to me. This is going to be, I think, the highest tier. This set of effects is going to be the highest tier effect of this cosmetic case. So as you can see, you get this like cloud above your character's head with these bright lights shining above it. You get these star particles going all the way around, and this crescent moon standing out in the middle. Like, just look at the colors on this thing, man. This is such a beautiful effect. Like, I was saying previously that I think think it's been a while since we've seen like cloud effects like uh, stormy 13th hour and uh, cloudy moon and stuff like that and this is so insane like I really want to pick myself up one of these for sure I think the colors on this thing are beautiful the blue lights coming out the top and the the dark blue and the purple at the bottom with those glistening stars and with that glistening bright moon in the middle this has got to be one of my favorite effects for sure. I love this thing, man. So this is the Eldritch opening effect. And oh my god, look at the colors on this thing. You get these like dark purple ones at the bottom with these bright purple, almost pink lights coming out at the top. And once again, you get this like bright moon and these bright glistening stars. Like even from a distance, just look how noticeable and bright and just pretty this effect is. That's literally all I can describe it as. This is such a pretty effect. Like, all of these effects with, in this kind of, like, mini moon set type thing are definitely going to be super high tier, I think. I'm definitely going to be picking myself up one of these when they start to become tradable. Like, I can't wrap my head around these things, man. These are so beautiful. These are some of the nicest effects we've had added into the game in a long time, man. 
So guys, this is the third effect and the final effect in the set. This is Dark Doorway, and you can see it's just like a more dark purple version of the previous effect, but I even think this colour, like the three colours picked by the creator of this effect, are three beautiful ones. You get this like very, very dark purple and this like um, almost, not necessarily lilac, but very light purple spotlights coming out of the top. And once again, those uh, sparkling moon and stars around it. Like these are three beautiful effects, man. I'm so happy these were added. I do feel like out of the three though, Galactic Gateway, which was the first one, the blue one that we saw earlier, that's going to be the most expensive, but all of them are going to be very high tier, possibly god tier, they're probably going to be the most expensive unusual effects from this Scream Fortress case, but I'm not too sure which will be the least expensive, I would have liked to hazard a guess, but Galactic Gateway has got to be the most expensive, that's just my opinion though, and that's just what I expect, to, what we're going to see to happen when these hats become tradable. So guys, this is the ring of fire effect, and there is three kind of like ring effects, I guess you could say. Um, it's literally just a ring that goes around the character's head. It's pretty noticeable, as you can see from a distance. And it's got these like hieroglyphs and like symbols floating around, which I think is really interesting. And as you can see, there's also like little flames coming off every so often. So this is the ring of fire one, which I think is probably going to be the most expensive as it's pretty reminiscent of said like burning flames and stuff like that. It's a really nice color though. I just feel like, imagine like comboing this with burning flames. So you get this like ring around the outside, the hieroglyphs going around, and then a big flame going up the middle. This would be an insane combination but nonetheless I'm going to show you the other two effects in this kind of set now. So up next we have Vicious Circle and it's the exact same thing but instead of flames coming off every so often we have these like purple bubbles which are pretty cool. I feel like this one will of course be like a lower tier one. Um, the hieroglyphs are actually different it's worth noting. You actually get like skulls and um, I can't really, and coffins but I can't really decipher what most of them mean but the ones I can are more like death orientated I suppose but this is like the purple version as you can see. Um, I mean yeah it's nice again it it it's noticeable again from a distance as you can see it does stand out I just feel like this will be a little bit cheaper but I think the hieroglyphs around the outside and how they change with each effect is a great touch for sure so guys, up next and the final effect in this set, we actually have White Lightning, which I really like. The colour kind of reminds me of one of the abduction or invasion effects. I'll put one of those on the screen now. Um, it kind of reminds me of that kind of colourway, but as you can see, once again, this is more of an angelic one, and the symbols are different. You get, like, a cross, which represents health. We get lightning. This one just seems a bit more positive, and I feel like, once again, um, this would kind of combo. We had the Ring of Fire one comboing with Burning. This one would combo great with Sunbeams, I can imagine like this is much more angelic much more like positive i'd say and overall like this i'm not sure because i thought i was so positive that ring of fire would be the most expensive but now i'm looking at this and how brightly it glows and just how pretty of a color it is and just how pure it looks i feel like this may be the most expensive but um definitely really nice i do really like um especially this colorway and the ring of fire one the most um but yep yeah, on to the next effect so this is the second to last unusual hat effect that was added and this is Omniscient Orb. And I didn't even notice this when I was initially looking at it, but as you can see it's this kind of like mystic fortune teller orb hovering above the head and you get these like green hands over it which is the general thing people do when they're supposedly telling someone's future from the orb. But as you can see there's little pictures and images of the Halloween maps which I think is such a nice touch. Like I think the fact it changes and swirls around into different Halloween maps is so nice and um it's not as noticeable and as bright and like doesn't stand out as much as the other effects but the purple and green does look really nice I think this is a really cool concept to where it's like telling the future and like putting pictures up of these other maps this is a really cool effect for sure I'm pretty sure this one will be like a mid to high tier one and guys the last unusual effect we're going to be looking at is the clairvoyance effect and as you can see this has got to be up there with the high tiers, with the kind of like clouds that we were looking at earlier. The clairvoyance effect is this big all-seeing eye in the middle. It's got beams coming out in all directions, so uh, kind of reminiscent of like the sunbeams with four main beams going horizontally and vertically. And floating around it is like bent spoons, which is a really nice effect. Like, um, kind of reminds me of like Alakazam. 
uh, the Pokemon. But nonetheless, this is a really nice effect, man. The colours are beautiful. This thing stands out from a distance. Like, this is just perfect. And I think the little bent spoons floating around is such a sick touch. So, guys, that is just about it for all the new effects in this Scream Fortress update. I will be doing one for taunts very shortly. If you did enjoy this video, please do remember to leave a like and let me know your thoughts down below. And also, let me know what your favourite unusual effect is from this update. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Scream Fortress and gaming-oriented content. And peace.